Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm going to be exploring a new creek which is right in front of me here. It looks pretty good. Um, I just passed over it going on over the highway, and I was on my way to go to another spot to go fishing today in my kayak. And I went there, but it was super dried up, um, and the current was pretty strong, so I couldn't really do my kayak there. Um, I did fish there for a little bit off the bank, and I caught some fish. Um, I'm not totally sure if I'm going to show that in this video, but if I do, it'll be at the end of the video. And for now, we're going to try to catch some fish out of this creek. Um, it's a place I've never been before, and if I can't catch anything here, there's another creek I've been to before that's pretty close to here, so we'll probably go there, but uh, hopefully we can get some fish here. Okay, y'all, I see a decent sized fish. I mean, it's not that big, but I think it's a little, a little red-eye bass. Um, they don't get very big. It's actually kind of a decent one. Oh, he, he really got spooked, though. Got one. Got something. I think it's a little red-eye bass. Oh my goodness, there's a few more of them. Oh, I hit him on something. Sorry, buddy. Oh, wow, look at that. Yep, it's a little red-eye. So there are red-eye bass in here. I believe when I said there's another creek close by that I've been to before, I'm pretty sure it's the same creek. It's just way upstream. And that creek had red-eye bass, so I thought this might have red-eye bass. And it does. All right, well, there was a pretty decent-sized red-eye I saw earlier, but... He got spooked pretty easily, so I don't want to get too close to the water here uh, just because I don't want to spook fish, but I also don't want to toss this guy like super far. So I'm just going to give him a little plop. There he goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, ah, okay. I've caught two and I've slapped both of them on that rock. I gotta be more careful. I might need to move closer to the water. But this guy, as soon as he saw the rooster tail, he hit it. I saw him down there and I brought it close to him. And dude, that is a another really cool looking red eye. Um, there's, there's definitely a bunch of them in here. And I'm not totally sure how far down that creek I can go because there's a ton of brush on each side, but this is a nice, another nice little red eye. Okay, so he was hiding right under a rock, just like these red eye love to do. And I'm just, ooh, wow, yeah. Even though I hit him on a rock, he was good to go. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this creek, uh, mainly because I'm starving and also because I could really only get to that uh, creek from right under that bridge. Uh, the rest of the creek was just kind of hard to get to and I wasn't really prepared for a creek fishing adventure today since I thought I was kayaking, so. So now I think I'm gonna get some food and try and find somewhere else to fish. Well, I got something to eat, and I'm actually no longer in Georgia. Um, I was on my way to Tennessee when I was fishing earlier, so I just decided to go ahead and drive all the way to Tennessee. And now I am at this pond right here, which usually is not too hard to catch fish out of. Um, there's a bunch of fish in here. And I've got a wacky rig, a jig, and a whopper plopper tied on. Those should all be able to catch fish, especially the wacky rig, because it pretty much always works here. So, anyway, let's get fishing. There's one under that tree. Little guy. He's not big at all. He's making himself seem bigger than he is. He's not too tiny, I guess. He yeah, actually is not that small, but because there's a lot of fish in here smaller than this but I'll take him first one out of this pond and he came off the wacky rig which is the only thing I've thrown so far and it's only six minutes in so not too long I already got one all right well just a little maybe 12 incher but I'll take him Got him. This one's not too bad. He's got a pound. Don't jump, buddy. It's actually kind of a decent one. Yeah. About a pound. Actually, yeah. Bigger than a pound. Like a pound and a quarter. Well, there we go. Uh, I said he was about a pound and a quarter, but I don't know. He might be. He's just about a pound. Maybe an ounce or two over. There he is. Got one. Got a bite over there earlier. 
under that bush and right next to that big tree. And that actually was a pretty good skip that I had. Got it right under there. And here's a little guy, about a half pounder. But I'll take him, the wacky rig is really effective this time of year, especially for all these bushes that are overhanging on the, overhanging this pond. Cause it's really easy to just skip this uh, worm right under those bushes. Like, and this tree, this overhanging tree. Like just skipping it under there, that wasn't the best skip. I wish it would have gone like five more feet, but. Oh. Well, wasn't the best skip, but I still got one. And this guy is even smaller than the last one. This guy is like a third of a pound, probably. He's real small. Maybe a quarter of a pound, actually. All right, finally got this little dude unhooked. One was a little over a pound. There's one right under that bush. Well, that's probably, yes, yeah, the smallest one. Slightly smaller than the last one we caught. But it's another little fish on the wacky rig. Ah. Have a fish on here? Oh, I have a fish on. Didn't even realize it. Seems like a good one or something. No way. Okay. Well, I had a fish on, I skipped it over there and it was getting stuck on the front of the boat. He's like almost a pound. It's better than the last one I just caught. Anyway, another one on the wacky rig. We've caught all of them on the wacky rig. Yeah, this guy's just about a pound. Anyway, another fish. Got him right under that bush. It's gonna be another little guy. There we go. And sometimes when you're farther away and you're too far away to skip it, you can just try to get as close to the bush as you can. That's what I did there. Yet another wacky rig fish. It's probably all I'm gonna throw. I might throw the whopper popper here in a second, but this wacky rig is catching them, so there's really no point in switching. Oh my gosh, I don't know, or even like 10. There's a fish, oh my gosh, he's tiny. There's a big like splash over there, I don't know what it was. Um, something must have fallen out of the tree or something. I don't really know, I don't know if the camera got that. But, yeah, another little fish. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of the beaver tail slap, but I don't see a beaver, so. Where? Oh, got one. It looked just like a beaver slap, kind of. Oh, decent one. Decent little fish, about a pound. Almost a pound, maybe not quite. Probably not quite. But yeah, I guess we have a beaver in this pond now. Man, I, I hardly ever see beavers, but I saw a beaver two days ago while fishing. Saw a groundhog yesterday. And there's another beaver over here, apparently. All right, well, oh, there he is. He's, he's kind of small. Oh, wow, this beaver is getting protective of his area, but he just did a big slap over there. He did a big slap right here. That almost makes me think there's two of them. So he would have had to swim around the island pretty fast. My goodness, that's the beaver. He just, like, this is a kind of a small pond. I mean, I guess he feels threatened or whatever just because I'm in here. But, uh, sorry, buddy, I'm fishing. <laughs> That one, there we go. First one on the Whopper Plopper, it's a real small fish, really, really small. 
<laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Well, there's a beaver swimming around this pond and slapping his tail like crazy. Um, I guess he thinks I'm in his territory, but got the first fish on the Whopper Plopper. It's probably the smallest one of the day, which is kind of weird. Uh, sometimes the Whopper Plopper does catch really small fish, um, which shows how aggressive bass are. That little tiny guy was trying to eat this decent sized Whopper Plopper, which is actually the Whopper Plopper 75, so it's the shortest Whopper Plopper they make, but still kind of fat. And like, oh, wow. I wonder if that was the fish I released. No, nah, it wasn't, but <laughs> just kind of hit it right, right there, pretty close to the boat. And I keep hearing the beaver over there. There we go, I'm glad we got to at least have a little bit of top water action here at the end. Even though these fish are super small, but whatever. Well, this is gonna be the end of the video. Um, overall today was definitely not a bad day. It was kind of fun just exploring that new creek. Um, even though I was only there for 30 minutes, so I was just kind of scouting it out, and I did catch a couple red-eye bass while I was there. Um, they, were, they weren't too, they were kind of small, but I did see one red-eye bass when I first got there that was a decent size, so uh, I think I definitely want to go back there sometime uh, and actually spend a little bit more time exploring the creek, but, but it was still fun coming back up here to Tennessee and catching a bunch of fish in that uh, pond out here, so that's always nice, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch you guys on the next video, and as always, thanks for watching.